So you remember a few videos back when I was trying to track down a squeaking noise on the Land Rover. Sorry, if you're new to the channel, I have tried to track down a squeak on the back of my Land Rover Discovery and I still haven't found it. Until now, I actually stumbled across this while doing a bit of research for the next couple of videos. I won't go into detail with them yet, but I stumbled across it and I think I might have found it. And it all comes down to the rear drive flange on the prop shaft. This is actually an old one and it has this little mud shield. On newer ones, they tend to make them a little bit too big and they catch on the housing of the diff. So that is my theory on what this could be. I am going to take the housing back off on the rear diff and the flange and I'm going to have a look and see if it's scored. If it is, then I can either grind it down or I can fit this one from this second hand flange. Hopefully that will fix the problem. And while I'm in there, I still have the weird vibration noise that I've been getting for years that I've been spending a lot of money trying to track down. I think I might have a little bit of a, a way of tracking it down. I'm going to remove the rear prop shaft completely and drive it in diff lock and see if it goes. If it goes, then it's something to do with the rear axle. If not, then it's the front. At least we can narrow it down. So I'm going to get under the car and I'm going to get this drive flange whipped off the car and we'll see what's happening. Okie dokie, so we've got it off, it took a bit more than usual, it didn't want to come out, the bolt that I was using seemed to not be long enough so I had to adapt a little bit of a washer and faff about it that way, but we finally got it out and I can see that there has been a bit of wear on this uh, mud shield, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of brake cleaner, I'm going to clean all the grease off it and I'm going to have a little look at the edge of it and see if it has been wearing away. So there's definitely been a bit of wear on here. There is some markings and what looks like some chrome flaking off, I don't know why it'd be chromed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the flange, I'm going to take the one off this other one and I'm going to compare them. Because I don't think I've ever had a problem with this one. Okie dokie, I've got both of them off and I can't actually see any difference in size 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the older one just because I don't think that one squ squeaked and at the end of the day it's only a mud shield so yeah I'll give it a quick clean up and then we'll fit that onto the new flange yeah easier smashing right that should be sorted I am now going to put it back on the car and we'll see if it works right so a moment of truth everything's back together apart from the prop shaft prop shaft is still off I'm going to drive it in diff lock and I'm going to see if that noise is still there fingers crossed Moment of truth. Safety first, eh? I've now got it in diff lock. And I need to take it out of low range. High range diff lock. It won't drive without diff lock in, so. Right. enjoyed this video another how-to another working on the Land Rover type video please give it a like do all that kind of stuff and we'll see you on the next one bye for now see you later